Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. That's right, we're back here. It's been a while, I know, but we've had some things over in the Minecraft realm on the channel, including a little map reset and a series closing down and a new series starting up. So hopefully you've been able to catch that if you're not here for the Minecraft stuff. So hopefully we can get back into things here. So where are we? What's what's going on? Well, we can see in our top right corner, we've got four jobs waiting on the phone. We've got 380 experience, $2,863 in the bank. And over here, we've still got some things we've got to do. Let's go take a look at our toolbox and see what we can actually get into it's fast unbolting. We can't get that yet. We need some upgrade points. In fact, we need upgrade points for all of this stuff. You only get that once we get to 1,000 XP. The other thing we're looking for is eventually, I would like to go out here and maybe go to the auction center, but we can't do the auction center because we need a parking garage. This is helping me to get used to uh, everything that's still, still kind of it's kind of rusty. It's been since February since I logged into this game. So we need 9,000 XP to upgrade our garage with parking. So we've got a ways to go. The other thing is over here in our phone. Let's just take a look at the jobs that are available. We've got two jobs here. We can see that there is a minimum XP level that we have to have to take those. And they're 1,500 and 3,001 XP respectively. So we've got... We've got some stuff ahead of us. We're currently at 380. We need to try and speed this process up. So what I'm going to do, we're going to we're going to try something different today. I found out last time that we can actually put cars on the lift. So that means we have room in here for three cars, technically. I don't want to pull three cars in at the moment because if we happen to get one that needs to be on the lift, and it's stuck here and we've got two on the lift already, we're gonna have a problem. So we're gonna try just pulling in two. Okay, so we're gonna take this one. It says replace timing related parts, list is provided. So we're gonna grab this one. And I don't know what's going on in terms of the video. I'm gonna keep chatting, but there was a little bit of a lag spike there. What we're gonna do now is see about putting this thing on no we need to put this car onto the lift let's see if we can move it yes we can move it we hit the m we're going to put this in the right lifter so it's right over there. And we've got another job that has just come in. Let's see. This is the one, I believe. Yeah. We're going to take this job. Okay. And we're going to have two going at the same time. We're going to put this one on the lift as well, just in case we need to keep it there. And I think we should be able to get to all of the places on the car from the lift. So what we're doing here again we are going to be going for about 10, 15 minutes on each one. So we're going to try and take care of this one. Let's take a look at the repair order for this car. We need a belt tensioner, timing belt, and water pump. All of that's going to be on the front. So let, that shouldn't be a problem. Got another job that just came in on the phone. Sway bar rear end link. That shouldn't take too long. And what's it say on the job? Uh, nothing for, I, I don't know how much XP we earn from each job. And let's take a look over here. And we got a Renee Piccolo. The car's filters need replacing. That should be pretty simple. I'm going to take a look at this one first. The, what is that? The Renee Piccolo, I believe. Yes, a Rene Piccolo and Sway Bar Rear End Link. And that is going to be back here. We probably need to lift this up. And that noise is rather loud to me, but I'm going to take care of that in the post-processing. What we're going to do now is go into 
Uh, we're going to go into disassemble mode. Let's just see if we can take a look at the conditions. Can we get in there? No, 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 no. We're going to go into assemble body mode. The problem is my overlay for DX Tori is currently over that that thing on the keyboard. I can't tell I can't tell what key that should be. You can see it certainly, but I can't. Let's try D A new two maybe the number two new new no new and how about we have got nothing in our inventory and we need to get to the sway rear bar okay so that should be back here and what we're gonna do is go into normal mode all right Let's see if we can get into, there used to be a split out view that we could see all the conditions of everything. Okay, there we go. And our sway rear bar link, that's the deal, is broken. So what we need to do is get into the suspension and that's our okay that's holding it in the rear sway bar the sway bar where is that one gonna be i should some of you are probably face palming because i don't know where this thing is and yeah the suspension arm hmm hmm <laughs> there's the sway bar rear sway bar link okay let's see if we can get to that which sway bar link is the one did it say on the repair order sway bar rear end link so that should be over here let's see if we can get a closer look aha there we go. That's the one we need to get to right there. And who is holding that in? Let's try and move the camera about. Okay, so it looks like this. No, no, no. That's maybe the rim. Okay, I see. Oh, let's just turn the camera around so we actually look like we're looking at our our lug nuts here. This tire is looking kind of dirty. And then let's see if we can get to this sway bar link. Yes, we can. Okay, so we'll right click on that. And it's just one bolt right there. Okay, well that's easy enough. Let's take a look at our inventory. Ooh, so... The condition is pretty bad, and what we're going to do is go purchase a new one. Let's try and move around here. And again, inventory. We want this sway bar rear end link right here. Let's go into our parts shop. It's going to be right in here, most likely. And running gear. Let's take a look. Let's go down, down. It's going to be in the S's. So sway bar, rear end link. That looks the same. $26. Let's get that. And we will go get this car out of our hands right, right soon. So let's go into assemble mode. And what are we going to do? No, we need to go back to normal mode, go into there, and then we'll switch to assemble mode. We're going to put this brand new one on, and we'll put this bolt back in. Okay, and then and we will put this rim back on. 
And we'll put those lug nuts back in. It said replace everything up to 78%. The rim is at 86%, so we will not be worrying about repairing that one. We'll put that in. Okay. And now let's just do the examine. Well, it's not too bad. Okay. And there is no examine mode at the moment for this. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to get this one off of our hands. And what we're going to do is move this to the center. Okay, and then maybe, just maybe, let's take this for a test drive, shall we? You know, I think it's it's kind of fitting that we take this out around the track just to make sure that our repair is doing pretty well. Now, I'm still a little scared about trying to run into anything. I don't know if that's actually going to cause any problems. Maybe once we get a little more money in the, in the wallet and a little more XP under our belts, then we'll take it and maybe run it into the side of a building or something. That's rather loud, and I'm going to take care of that in post-processing. Okay, brakes are good. Brakes are good. Turning. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll go through that checkpoint. A little slalom. And I might end up causing some body damage here. We don't want to do that. All right, so we'll just run this on through. There's something I just noticed is that the driver is on the uh, the right or left side here, and that is that it. We might have some body work to do because I ran that too fast. So the driver's on the left side, which is kind of odd because these are mostly European or European seeming cars. So maybe I'm maybe I'm mistaken. So if you are from a European country, you're watching this, let me know. Are these cars? I haven't done research outside of this. Are these cars real? Uh, I'm not familiar with them. They might be. I don't know. So let's take a look at how we did on that test. And it should be coming up here soon. Outer tie rod is at 78%. Front sway bar. Those are all at right at the overall condition. Any body work to be done? I did run into... No, it looks fine. That looked fine. So maybe you don't actually cause any damage to the car. That's fine. Let's look at the repair order. Repair with parts exceeding minimum condition. I think we're done. Let's uh, let's just take a quick screenshot. Okay, we'll do that. And maybe we'll take one with the camera as well. Like so. There we go. We got our photo. And... We'll leave that, and what we can do is open the repair order, finish the job, and we got uh, about 100 experience off of that, so that's not too bad. Let's bring in another, another job, and you know what? We'll take this one, because it's the filters, and we'll move that one over to our, uh, what's it, um, our other lifter and we are going to call this one this episode done for the time being so let's move that there all right well ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your time with me today hopefully you have enjoyed if you did a like is always appreciated and if you haven't done so already think about hitting subscribe that way you're up to date on everything going on on the channel but join us next time we are together here for car mechanic simulator 2015 we're going to finish up our oh we got another job coming in we're going to finish up our royal bianco here and then we will see about replacing those filters over on this renee piccolo right 
here. So that's coming up. I'm not going to take any more jobs. We'll get those two finished and we'll, that should be the end of that sub series. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.